I was inspired by the bright jewel tones and color blocking trend of the Gucci Spring Summer 2011 collection. I decided to make this pencil skirt. The simple pattern uses stretchy or knitted fabric and is very, very flattering and feminine no matter what your figure. So please keep watching to learn how I made it. Start by taking your measurements. You'll need a waist measurement, a hip measurement, the distance between your waist and the hips, and a total length for your skirt. Next, you need to draft your pattern. Start by drawing a line to represent center front and draw a line at the top perpendicular to your center front to represent your waistline. Then count down the distance between your waist and your hips and mark a line off there to represent your hips. Then count down the total length of your skirt and mark off a line here to represent your hemline. Next, on the waistline measurement, mark off one quarter of your waist measurement. Do the same for your hips. For your hemline, just draw straight from your hips, don't curve it back in. And this is your front pattern piece. To draft your back pattern piece, start with a piece exactly the same as your front. Then move the center front line over. I'm moving mine over about 2 inches because I've got quite a big butt. Next, you need to remove that extra length that you've added from the waistband. So I'm going to do that by adding a dart approximately uh, in the center of the pattern piece. Now the dart doesn't go all the way down to the um, hip line, it goes about halfway, so about 6 inches. And this will be your back pattern piece. Lay out your pattern pieces on the fabric and trace around them. Be sure that for your front pattern piece, you line up the center front line with the fold of the fabric. For the back piece though, it doesn't matter, you can place it anywhere on the fabric as there will be a uh, center back seam. Next, cut out your fabric. Cut out all around the pattern pieces except don't cut down the darts. The darts are only sewn, not cut. The first thing you should sew should be the darts. Start from the edge of the fabric and sew in towards the point of the dart. Next, place the two back pieces together and then sew up the center back seam. Then, line up the front and back pieces and sew up the side seams. Turn your skirt right side out and then fold over about an inch at the bottom to be your hem. Sew this using a twin needle for a professional finish. For a waistband, cut out a piece of elastic slightly smaller than your waist and then sew it into a loop. Flatten that seam and then top stitch. Place the top of the skirt into the waistband so that the right side of the skirt is to the wrong side of the waistband and then sew using a zigzag stitch. As you sew, stretch the elastic waistband slightly so that the size meets the size of the skirt. And you're done. So, this is the finished skirt. I'm actually quite pleased with it. Um, it's a lot easier than a regular pencil skirt, but I mean, it looks just as good. Uh, a couple of things though, um, I'm not really used to working with knitted fabrics yet, and I've got the sewing of knitted fabrics down pat, but not really the drafting of patterns. So this did end up being quite a bit too big and I had to take it in. Um, I think the reason for that is, is like when you draft a pattern with woven fabric, um, you kind of round up your measurements so that it's not skin tight and you can move, but it's probably the opposite way for knitted fabric in that you'd have to round down your measurements so that it can stretch. Um, so yeah, th that's really the only thing. And Oh, the other thing about the stretch is though, ye I could have made lit this like such um, a uh, a less complicated pattern. I could have just sewn a tube of fabric and it probably would have still looked good like this. But whatever. Um, it is a very versatile pattern. Um, that's the same basic pattern I would use for a normal pencil skirt, but there are a couple of modifications of proper waistband, a zipper, and then 
I don't know what it's called right now. The word slips in my mind. I, I want to say a fly, but I know that's wrong. Like the, the flap or vent at the back of a skirt so that when you wear something tight, you can walk without, you know, your legs being stuck together and stuff. Um, yeah, so you'd have to make a couple of modifications, but you could very easily use this pattern as a um, regular style pencil skirt. But I'm really happy with this. I wanted something bright. I love bright colors. They're just happier. So um, yeah, I, I thought the color blocking trend was kind of over until Threadbanger Style mentioned um, the Spring Summer Gucci collection. And yeah, it is kind of back and I like the colors and it looks cute and yeah, so anyway, um, I made this cute outfit. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, remember to check out my website www.evangestyle.com. Also, uh, if you like my videos, make sure you subscribe because I'm doing a lot more sewing tutorials um, coming up soon. Uh, also, important thing I need to say, even if you don't subscribe, even if you don't give me thumbs up, please leave a comment because I love comments more than anything. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.